Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Um, today we're going to be going over my near complete Woodland Alice Field Year set. Um, this is a set that I wanted to put together, but I didn't want to use Rothko or Fox Outdoor items. I wanted to find Made in US uh, with GI fabric um, items. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So here is everything, and we'll start on the left side and just work our way down. So for the base, I just wanted to use a standard USGI belt. I figured it looked best. Um, so that's what this is. Ammo pouch, this is the 30 round, three 30 round AR ammo pouches. No stamps. That does have the dividers. And they do not have the grenade holders. I really wish that they did, but I couldn't find any US made ones that um, did, so I had to settle for these. But um, I'll let you see the back side. I feel like that's going to rip out really easily. but they're not bad. They're slightly big. Um, they're too small to fit four 30 round AR mags, but just a tad big for three. Up next are the pistol ammo pouches. As you can see, it looks almost identical to the Molly ones. No stamps again, but if you look, They are Alice. Right here should be another canteen, but I am unable to find uh, an identical one, so I think it's best to just go without one. <clears throat> Hanging off the webbing, the side webbing of the butt pack, I have a compass first aid pouch. see the fabric this is made looks just like the regular molly stuff the woodland molly fabric um, see if I could get this open with one hand there we go again no stamps it does feel a little bit thinner like a, a thinner opening than the US ones and this one does feature two Alice clips, which I think is interesting. Up next, you got the butt pack. This is the only item with a US stamp. And you could see that they also put a fake stamp, um, a fake national stock number and DLA. So it has a DLA of 1989. It has right below it a national stock number. I have no clue what that national stock number comes back to. And then a dead giveaway is that says SWI USA and Made in USA. Those are the two things that are dead giveaways that this isn't real issue. And the waterproof liner is very, very thick. Personally, I don't really like it, um, so I'm contemplating cutting it out. Normally, I just roll them up to the top here, but when I try to roll this one, it always unrolls itself. But the entire inside is made out of this waterproof woodland material. Um, I think this is the same material on the... Um, later on the radio packs that look like medium Alice packs um, and I think I could be wrong but I also think the NBC kit bag fabric but this is made to USGI specs you got your side webbing for pouches drain holes on the bottom D-rings at the top 
bigger D-rings than normal, an ID window, and Alice clips. Then, moving on to the canteen cover, this is the one quart canteen. Again, made out of that nylon that's like wooden molly gear is made out of. It does have a fake US stamp. I'll show you the inside. This is just my 1986 Zarn canteen with the green gas mask top, the old style. Here's the inside. It looks just like the USGI ones. No stamp on the back. And you can see the, the Alice clips. Looks identical to the issued OD ones, except it's in woodland and doesn't have manufacturing stamps. I'd like to find an identical one, um, but I'm unable to, so I'm still on the hunt for that. Up next, you have the Bianchi Woodland Holster. This one is in excellent condition. Doesn't look like it was really ever used. Um, I got a good deal on this one for $65. There's two on eBay at the time. One guy wanted $156 and this guy won $65. The other guy was saying that his was some experimental model. Don't know how true that is. Unfortunately, this one only fits my 1911. It really doesn't fit the Breda M9. But it's still great, though. I'm very thankful to have it. And then, up next, you got the second 30-round AR mag pouch. Three 30-round AR mag. This one I cut the dividers out of, and it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. So I just left the dividers in the other one. Then the suspenders are woodland camouflage as well. These do have stamps. It says GI LC2 Y suspenders. North American something. And it has a fake national stock number. Um, I can't tell the rest of the national stock number, but I'm sure it just goes back to OD suspenders. And then on the outside, the, f the side that faces away from the body, is just the, the regular olive drab. And then I, I got another compass first aid pouch. Now, let me go over the manufacturers and where I got all this stuff. <clears throat> so, the belt came from eBay. Like I said, it's just the standard USDI one. You can get these anywhere. The ammo pouches, or the M16 ammo pouches, the butt pack, and a different holster. You guys will about to see it, but it, it's not the right holster. And the suspenders all came from ArmyNavySales.com. The uh, pistol ammo pouches, the compass first aid pouch, and or both compass for state pouches both came from fire force tactical and the canteen cover came from ebay i have no clue on the manufacturer of it and the holster came from ebay um i have suspicion that these suspenders are old um Fire Force Tactical sus Suspenders because if you look on the Fire Force Tactical Compass First Aid Pouch, it has the two Alice clips and on the suspenders it only accepts, there. it doesn't, this isn't in a completely open loop, it's got one loop here and one loop there. It's sewn shut in the middle. So a pouch with two Alice clips will fit there perfectly. So I'm pretty sure the suspenders are Fire Force Tactical, but they're not on Fire Force Tactical's website. Um, 
like I said, I just listed the websites where I got all this stuff. Now, some of the problems that I ran into. Rothko used to sell accurate canteen covers that looked very, very close to this. Unfortunately, they don't sell them anymore. But they, well, they don't sell the accurate ones. They sell um, cheaper ones. And this is one of their canteen covers. And you could see the camo pattern. I mean, yeah, it's woodland, but it looks completely different. And the quality is a lot cheaper. Um, I got the canteen somewhere else, but that's a cheap canteen, too. And at first, I thought they sent me the wrong one, but the item number is exactly the same as how it was advertised. Now, let me show you their old woodland cam or, uh, canteen pouches. That's these ones. These just sold on eBay a couple months ago. But these, believe it or not, despite the camo pattern looking like those ones, these are actually the old Rothko um, from their enhanced line. So the, the pattern is right, and they look right, but then of course you get to the back and yeah, you could tell. So that's what I thought I was buying, but I got sent this. Another thing is, is that you notice everything, like I said, looks and feels like USGI. It's left, or it was made with leftover USGI materials, and I wanted to avoid using items like these. This is old Rothko um, Woodland Alice gear, which they don't make that, 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 or that anymore. The only thing that they still make is the canteen covers and the pistol belts. But you guys could tell that camo pattern looks way off versus the original stuff. Then I mentioned the holster. I got really lucky finding that Bianchi holster for so cheap or finding it at all because this is the cheap one that I settled for now this is also appeared to have been made out of some type of GI material I'm just not sure what um, so it, it looks relatively okay with the rest of it but and it it's a universal sized so basically any full-size holster um, it'll fit my 1911 and my Breda M9. It fits the Breda M9 better, but when I go to draw it, it gets hung up. The hammer gets hung up on that. So, also because uh, this is a Bianchi. I mean, why not just flex the Bianchi? But this was purchased at Army-Navy sales as well for $13. And overall, it really isn't a bad holster. Um, it's good for the price, but... It's just not that useful to me now, now that I have a Bianchi. I'm more likely to carry my Breda M9. Um, it's just a preference thing. I'm not saying that the Breda M9 is better. Um, but the, the firearms that I have, I'm if I'm carrying for open carrying for something like this, while I'm wearing this, I am for sure more likely to carry the M9. Um, so maybe I'll keep this around for that. Now, a lot of people are going to be wondering what um, did the U.S. ever issue genuine Woodland Alice gear? And the answer is yes, but not in the way that we think. So I'm going to list off the only items that are Alice or Alice compatible uh, issued Woodland field gear items. And that is the Medium Alice Pack. You guys have seen my review of that. The Medium Woodland Alice Pack. The NBC Kit Bag. The Prick 68 Radio Carrier. And later on, um, in the late 90s, early 2000s, they had a 
radio carrier pack, which looked identical to the Woodland Media Mouse pack. However, it is technically a, a, its its own thing. It's just Alice compatible. Um, and the national stock number uh, verifies that. So there is a difference between the Woodland Radio Pack and the Woodland Medium Alice Pack, but they look very similar. Those are the only items. Um, back when the, I don't consider the IIFS the, or LBV vest Woodland Alice because that was kind of supposed to partially replace Alice and it's its own thing. Um, it's more of an Alice compatible item. They did experiment with uh, Woodland Alice pouches at that time, but it's my understanding that they never made it past experimental stages. Um, last week, or a few days ago, someone was trying to tell me that my six color desert can two quart canteen cover was a part of that IIFS system. Um, he was he kept on calling it five color desert two, but he was convinced that that's what it was and that it was U.S. issued. But he didn't have any references, and none of the references that I have ever looked into have ever suggested that. So I don't, I don't I'm not sure where he got that information from. But so I don't know. But anyways, guys. So to to reiterate, nothing on this, with the exception of the pistol belt, was ever actually issued. This is all commercial made gear. Um, but it's made to GI specs with leftover GI material. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Um, I really like the way that this all looks. Um, there will be a tan Alice gear update soon. Um, and hopefully some other stuff containing LBV items. So anyways, guys, uh, have a nice day and I'll catch you later.